libraries on their system are for single files. So by far the most common scenario is you need a single file back, not your full environment. Um, Dimple asks, talk about lead referral and lead generation if they contact you first. Is it regional or expertise based? Dimple, typically um, regional when we're doing lead referral. Uh, Chris asks, has SOS experienced a situation where data was unrecoverable by client or totally loss of data from data center? Never had a situation where we lost data from the data center, Chris. Um, in terms of the clients having recovery problems, sure, we've had those. We've got you know, millions of users on the system. None that we haven't been able to resolve that I'm aware of, though. Um, in the worst case scenario, you'll escalate up to our level three support team and they can always do a manual recovery process. But that's, I've got to emphasize, that's in the rarest of cases. Um, okay, Dimple also asked, does offline external USB recovery as an option if customers send you drives? What are costs? Sorry, Dimple, I'm not sure, I'm not sure I understand that. Um, okay, if you can re rewrite the question, I'll do my best to answer. Um, all right. In the interest of time, there's just a couple of other slides I want to uh, I want to talk to. A very common question we get is, how can I sell this, and who do I sell it to? Um, and so these are the the ways of selling and the markets to sell to that we've seen our partners have the most success in. So obviously, selling as a general disaster recovery and backup solution, um, but also as an archiving solution, and then some more specialized applications. So as a laptop fleet solution, branch office backup typical application server backups, email servers, app servers, database servers, and then remote data access and mobile data access. In vertical markets, um, we see partners having a lot of success with medical. Uh, because of the HIPAA regulations, medical businesses pretty much have to use online backup technology. Um, same in the financial services sector, which is the Sarbanes-Oxley regulations. Both mandate that uh, off-site versions of off-site encrypted version copies of data needs to be maintained and really online backups are the only cost effective way to do that. Uh, and then legal, government and education have always been big users of, of remote backup solutions. So there are usually, in all five of these buckets, if you've got clients in these sectors, there are usually pretty established backup budgets on an annual basis that you can tap into to sell your solution in. Um, and then this slide, uh, if I can focus everybody's attention on this slide, this is a really important one. This gives you a snapshot of the type of business you can build with online backup. Um, and the most important takeaway from this whole webinar is to talk to an SS partner specialist about getting a model built that looks like this. Um, so this is what we call our, it, it, this comes from what we call our ROI model. And it takes about five to 10 minutes for our team to, to, to ask you some questions about your customers and build you a model that can show you the types of revenue that you're you're looking at in this space. Because online back um, so this gives us a sense of whether or not you're a good fit for us, and it gives you a really great sense of whether or not we're a good fit for you. And so this is an ROI model based on one of our current partners. Um, and this particular partner has, I'll give you the highlights, built a, a business with $70,000 in backup revenue with a cost of only $12,000 to us. So you can see the margin can be spectacular. In this case, 82%. I'm not representing that everybody on the line can get 82% gross margin, but it is possible. And one of the one of the best ways to achieve that is to adopt um, the pricing recommendations we make, and they come from this particular partner originally, actually, which is to try and approach um, pricing with a flat pricing model. What I mean by that is to sell a $300 a month subscription, a $500 a month subscription usually driven on a per seat basis, not on a per gig basis. We sell to you on a per gig basis, so the easiest thing is for like to buy from us on a per gig basis and then mark it up, um, but it is not the way to be most successful at all. The way to be most successful with your pricing um, and positioning of the service is a flat fee per seat model. Under the hood, you're still then gonna figure out how many gigs that customer needs, but it's a far more profitable option and interestingly, far more accepted by your customers because they don't then need to understand how many gigs they've actually got. It just becomes a, a function of, okay, we have 24 employees and we're gonna budget $100 per head, so we're gonna spend $2,400. And there's a far easier procurement decision to be made in most businesses than it is to try and determine how many gigs uh, are required. Um, so you, 
yeah, summary there is really talk to um, a partner specialist about having an ROI model built for you, and that'll give you, I think, probably your best takeaway from today's webinar. Um, Doug Garrett asks a great question. Is there a major named or recognizable player that uses SOS currently that would be a good indication of how well a reseller can do? Um, Doug, two of two partners of ours you may have heard of are Yahoo and Cisco. Um, so, you know, multi-billion dollar global technology companies. And then there are many more besides that, but those are two banner names. Um, Okay, on screen is just uh, a, a, another little utility that we can rebrand for you, a vulnerability scanner, just another example of the type of marketing resources we can give you. This is a tool that you rebrand and you deploy, and it helps scan the customer system to determine how many gigabytes they've got. Um, and so there's a lot of marketing tools in our, in our system like this that you can rebrand and leverage as you're marketing this to your base. All right, so why SOS? We're the technology leader in the space, uh, and we're the only major online backup vendor that focuses on the channel. From a price point standpoint, we won't be beaten. Our cost to you will be the lowest you'll find across anybody who is supplying the channel. From a delivery and support standpoint, you can't beat our delivery organization. Everything from marketing support to sales support to the technical support to the training programs to your dedicated account manager and then the entire delivery team who work with you to get your product customized and delivered to market. But at the end of the day, it's about helping you add a new high margin recurring revenue stream to your business. Um, and it's not often that you can take on a new product and make 50 to 60% gross margin on product sold with a recurring predictable revenue stream. Um, so that takes us to the end of the presentation. Um, we'll, take, we'll do questions for another 10 minutes. Um, but for those of you who need to go, and I apologize for how long the webinar went today. Um, I do appreciate the questions throughout. I think it makes it more engaging for everyone. I know I get a lot more out of it. Um, the the details for the Kindle promotion are call in. Uh, the phone number is 877-896-3611. That's free call in the USA. If you're outside the USA, plus one, three one zero eight seven eight two six two six. Those numbers again, 877-896-3611 and plus one, three one zero eight seven eight. 2626. Um, press the extension for sales and then say that you were on the kin you were on the webinar this morning and you want to register for the Kindle giveaway. Uh, and the promotion code is KDX8237. Uh, so just give them that promotion code and they'll put you in the draw. Um, all right, so turning to the questions that we've got on the line and I'd encourage everybody to ask questions. We've got a few people who've asked a lot of questions, which is great. Um, so Dimple's question about the external drive. Um, does offline external USB recovery as an option if customer sends you drive? What are costs? Restore on external USB drive directly from data center instead of restoring over internet. Okay, Dimple, I understand now. Um, yes, we do. We do have what we call a physical media recovery service where we can do the recovery and send it out to you. Um, and the costs, I, I actually don't. I know what the cost of that service is. It used to be $180, um, it, but uh, you need to ask a partner specialist about the pricing for that, I'm sorry. Chris asks, which states are the data centers located in within the United States? California, Arizona, and Texas. Uh, but Texas is the other major data centers, Chris. Um, Dimple says, repeat the promotion code. Uh, KDX, it's Kilo Delta X-ray, 8237. No other questions on the line, but I'm sure there are more questions to be asked. So I have a question for actually. I have a question for everybody. Um, the um, <laughs> Doug says, "When are you going to call me?" <laughs> Doug, um, I can have somebody call you, Doug. Um, typically, it, the easiest thing is probably to call that number and, and register for the Kindle giveaway. Otherwise, I can ask our VP of Sales, Jeff, to, to organize for a rep to get in touch with you. Um, 
Okay, so as these questions are coming in, um, I've got a question for everybody in the audience, and that is this. What's stopping you from becoming a partner? What are the things you need to do to, um, to sign up? So is it you're still gathering information about the industry, you're still working with your customers to vet the opportunity, you're building a budget for this. Um, what is it that, you, that is preventing you from signing up right now and becoming a partner? Um, I'm always interested because I want to try and make sure this content is focused on addressing those key concerns that the prospective partners have. Um, and while you're, um, while everybody's answering that, let me uh, let me talk through some of these other questions. Um, okay, so Terence asks, maybe I missed this. Can you choose which data to back up locally and then push only a portion off site? Absolutely, Terence. They're actually separate. They're different backup sets. So typically, you'll have a very large backup set for local backup, and then a smaller backup set for online backup. Dimple asks, if there are multiple partners in the region, how do you determine who to refer lead to? So Dimple, lead referral only applies to some of our partners. Um, so we don't, yeah, that, that's not a major part of our program, um, but there are some of our partners who've got lead referral solutions in place with us. So that's something you've got to talk to the, the reps about. It's not a standard part of the program. Um, and the reason is we've just got so many partners. We've got more than 1,000 partners worldwide. Um, so managing that gets very difficult. David asks, do you have a lower price plan than $249 to start off with? David, I don't think so. Um, I don't, they're, they're all, I will say this, our sales uh, department is always running different promotions and prices. So if you're talking to a partner specialist, they're the best people to talk to about specific pricing. Um, but I don't think so. That sounds about right. Pranas says, email invite says all attendees will get a free five gigabyte uh, backup plan. Um, Pranas, yeah, I, I, I do know that we've been, we always reward members who attend these webinars, so I'm not sure how fulfillment, fulfillment on that works. You'll probably get an email with follow-up details for that. That reminds me, everybody will get a follow-up email um, with a video of today's webinar. So if you'd like to do anybody else who you think is interested, perhaps within your organization, that should be easy to do. Um, Keith asks, will the first, will the webinar be available later? Keith, I just answered that without meaning to. Um, yes, it will be on our webinar archives page and you'll get an email. Carl says, would need to evaluate the product first before signing up as a partner. Carl, absolutely, and you should. Um, so talk to the partner specialist about getting a trial. Um, and yeah, actually, I think the best thing is get them to walk you through the product. That's probably the easiest way to get to know it. And then, of course, use it yourself. Um, Scott says, uh, understanding the costs is important. I've got, a, I've got a new IT business with limited income stream uh, as my business builds. OK, Scott, good comment. Uh, Stephen says, I really like SOS, but I have a contract with another provider. I need to flush out costs to move to SOS and break existing contract. Stephen, you've talked to our specialists about that. We can um, Generally, that migration process can be handled, so it's fairly painless. Uh, Dimple says, we are using Mosey and trying to see if there are better solutions and margins. Um, well, Dimple, I'm, I mean, I'm obviously convinced that SOS is a better solution, um, but the margins I'm certain of, the margins will definitely be better with us. And I think that technology is, is head and shoulders above the Mosey technology, but the margins are going to be uh, clear in a way higher with, with SOS than with, with Mosey. Uh, okay, we're out of comments and questions on the line. Um, that actually takes us to time anyway. So um, thanks, everybody, for your attendance, and thanks for the, for the great Q&A. It's, uh, it's been really much more entertaining for me when the audience participates than it is when there are no comments or questions. Um, so call in and register for that Kindle giveaway.